Hello and welcome back to Alex SpaceX Talks. I hope that you have all enjoyed the content of my Starship update video last week. Today I will begin with my SpaceX ABC series where we will tackle one letter in each episode. The duration of the ABC video series will be kept quite short so that you might as well have time to watch it during a quick coffee break or on your way to work. So, let's start with the first SpaceX specific letter of the alphabet. Letter A for Autonomous Drone Ship. For those of you who had already watched my very first video, SpaceX and Starship in a nutshell, should know by now that reusability is a key element in SpaceX's mission goals. To reduce the cost per rocket launch, Elon Musk announced in 2009 that the first stage boosters of SpaceX's Falcon rockets would be reused. In fact, those boosters should be returning to Earth after having been successfully launched and delivered the second rocket stage with its payloads to low Earth orbit. When I first heard about this, I thought Musk had gone completely crazy now. How on Earth could he land a booster after it has been fully ignited and sent towards the sky. I was not the only one. A lot of other experts in the space industry were baffled when they heard about Musk's ambition. The plan on paper was quite simple. A Falcon rocket would lift off at Cape Canaveral. After two and a half minutes into the flight, the first stage rocket booster would shut down all its nine engines, flip around and head straight back to the designated landing site. Once the booster approaches the landing site, it would reignite one or two of its engines for the landing burn. The booster would eventually slow down and smoothly touch down on the ground. Well, that was the theory on paper, but in real life it turned out to be much more complicated than that and a lot of failed attempts had been conducted by SpaceX. After several failed attempts, April 8 in 2016, marked the first successful landing of a Falcon 9 rocket booster. The cheering of the SpaceX crew, as well as the international recognition of this huge achievement was overwhelming. The path for rocket reusability had been paved. Because some of the boosters, who had to deliver very heavy satellites and payloads into low Earth orbit, did not have enough fuel to head back to their respective landing zones on the US mainland, Musk came up with the early idea of trying to land them on a platform floating in the sea. This is where our autonomous drone ships come into play. The drone ships were designed to offer an ideal landing zone for the returning Falcon boosters on sea. After touchdown, the drone ships would then deliver those boosters back to the mainland, fully autonomously. Currently, there are three autonomous drone ships operational. They have the following fancy names, all chosen by Elon Musk himself. Of course, I still love you, a shortfall of Gravitas and read the instructions. The overall succession rate of booster landings, both on land and on the drone ships, is impressive. Falcon family core boosters have successfully landed 130 times in 124 attempts. Nowadays, the boosters either land on the mainland or on one of those drone ships. Then, they are being brought back to a SpaceX manufacturing facility where they will undergo a thorough inspection and get prepared for the next mission. The most flown is booster B1051, which has so far survived 9 launches and recoveries. SpaceX officials said that boosters could fly 10 times before requiring major refurbishment. Elon Musk's vision is that someday also starships might take off and land on platforms on the sea because there would be less environmental impact. Those platforms would need to be much larger than our known drone ships. SpaceX has already bought two oil rigs called Phobos and Deimos. They are currently being refurbished and might one day be the home base for our starships heading for space. But in the meantime, our three autonomous drone ships are still quite busy with collecting boosters returning from space and they do their job just fine. Well, that was my first SpaceX ABC video. I hope that you have all enjoyed the content and I'm looking forward to seeing you again on my channel. In the meantime, I wish you all a wonderful week and see you soon in my next video. Go SpaceX, go Starship, ciao!